Hi everyone, happy fall. It is great to be back. My husband and I went on a little New England leaf peeping trip that I've been wanting to do since I was a little girl. So that was very exciting and I can't wait for the leaves to turn here in BC. So if you have not met me, my name is Laura and I have a social enterprise called Befriended Heart. My father has dementia and I help daughters navigate everything involved in the dementia journey um, through my YouTube videos. So if you are loving this video and you'd like to see uh, more, please be sure to go onto my YouTube channel called Joy in Dementia. So today I wanted to talk to you all about the possible danger in um, treating a person with dementia as if they're a child. So um, first, let me tell you a story. I went to a really great lecture by a um, leader named Rebecca Wilson. She is very well trained in the dementia field and um, she has a company called Aging Care Coach. So I will actually put that link below. Um, she gives talks all over the country and I highly recommend going to those. It was very informative. So that being said, at this talk, um, you know, Rebecca was doing a great job explaining that particular topic. And someone in the audience raised their hand and basically said, oh, so, you know, I think that it's similar to, um, you know, dementia are similar to children in that, you know, they need to learn to eat or, you know, learn to take a shower, um, things like that. And, you know, um, being as impassioned as I was, I raised my hand and I tried to be as respectful as possible after that woman spoke. And she was, you know, um, probably a woman in her 60s. Um, and I said, you know, I understand that comparing a person with dementia to a child perhaps helps you grasp the fact that, um, you know, they're not as able to do these um, functions like eating or taking a shower, um, you know, as easily as you or I. Um, but there is a big risk in um, comparing people with dementia to children because of the ageism in our society. And I've mentioned this in a past video, so I will actually include that link below as well, or I will have it pop up on the screen shortly here. Um, but, you know, the fact that if you're treating someone as a child, the way you speak to them is very different. And also, you know, in my opinion, children are still learning to do things and they don't have nearly as much wisdom as so many of these elders do. I mean, they're, they're so much older. Um, and so that kind of comes to the respect aspects. So, you know, for example, there's something in our industry called elder speak, which is basically a specific language that we use to talk to older people, whether they have dementia or not. And this elder speak is not good. <laughs> so um, the best I could compare it to is, is if you're talking to a child or if you're talking to a pet. So for example, and, and I, to be totally honest, I used to do this as well because I really love elders and I thought that I was being, you know, sympathetic, but I basically said, oh, you know, that cute little old lady. And, you know, the word cute is really used for children or pets or things like that. So um, I have really tried to nip this in the bud and I hope that you will too now that you understand that better. So um, in addition to elders already having known these behaviors, they are also feeling scared, embarrassed, frustrated. I mean, can you, I mean, just the fact that you know how to do all of these activities of daily living, like, um, you know, bathing or eating, can you imagine not being able to do those things anymore and what you would feel? I, you know, I don't think that kids have the same feeling. So it's taking that into account as well. 
Um, I also mentioned in a previous video my um, qualms with the word senior and how I prefer saying elder because, again, um, it goes back to respecting that wisdom. So speaking of wisdom, there is something called crystallized intelligence. And that really, in my opinion, is what wisdom is. And that's what we associate with older people. And here's the thing. People with dementia still have that wisdom. I mean, crystallized intelligence is one of the very last things to be lost in the last stage of dementia. And so for that reason, um, you know, I really believe that people with dementia still have that crystallized intelligence or that wisdom, but they can't access it. So that's very different than, you know, being a child and not having gone through all of that life experience. Um, and so something that I love um, my, when my dad used to say, and I'm sure he still feels this way, even in the last stage of dementia, that honesty is the best policy. And that's a huge life lesson that he taught me. And I know that that wisdom is something he gained from when he was a child to an adult. And that's what he carried to the end of his life as the most important value. Um, the other thing, too, we need to keep in mind when we talk to people with dementia is that even if, you know, in, in my dad's case, he can't really speak or communicate well, but I know that he understands when I'm stressed because the more I rush him, the slower he takes. And he also reacts in a frustrated way as well when I'm stressed. So people with dementia are like sponges and they really soak in that emotion that you're expressing, even if you don't realize it. They also hear that tone. So if you say, oh, you're such a cute little old lady, and even if they can't express like, hey, I really don't like to be called that because I'm a, a grown, intelligent adult woman, they still feel that, you know, disrespect and condescension. So I hope that this has been a helpful video. And these types of strategies can help you fight ageism. They can help you advocate for your parents. and they can prevent you from being spoken to that way when you are an adult, you know, in your 80s. I um, loved talking with you guys today and would love it if you could subscribe to my channel, Joy and Dementia, and you will be the first to see my videos, which I post every other Thursday in the afternoon. So um, let me know if you have any questions and please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye.